imagine what the apostles did we will come up with our own ministry template when they are teaching we are binding <laughs> when they are instructing us we are breaking I break I break you will break down may you love instruction Grace to you and welcome to Steadfastly Continuing Apostles' Doctrine. We are the church if we continue steadfastly in the Apostles' Doctrine, in their teaching. Jesus said, If you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. We will always do well to check our Christianity by that definition of the law that we are indeed his disciples because we are continuing in his word we believe on the lord jesus and then we are now continuing this word and it's none other than his own word which he committed to his disciples to his apostles which they faithfully kept and has been passed on through the ages unto us so uh, with me today is very reverend dr Emmanuel chuma siankra uh, a beloved man of god who heads the logos chapel worldwide he's a founder of uh, that ministry and uh, God has also given him uh, a special grace to raise ministers and he does that uh, formally uh, he has uh, a, a biblical uh, Institute the synagogue uh, Institute and then he also teaches, he lectures uh, at the Christian Service University College uh, where many pastors pass through his hands. And uh, because of his involvement with men of ministry, he's abreast with some of the challenges that we have been facing in these days. But there is no challenge that is beyond the word of God. And so, whatever happens, we still have to come back to God's word and find solution to it. And so today we'll be looking at what we must come to to find solution for all the challenges that face up we face in life and in ministry. We'll be looking at authority and infallibility of scriptures the authority and infallibility of scriptures it, 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 we, we are looking at scriptures in terms of those two words authority infallibility that there is a uniqueness to the scriptures it is authoritative and is infallible yes. so very reverend thank you for coming My i pleasure. miss your busy schedules <laughs> authority of scripture what is it in the first place what does it mean authority of scripture how do we explain it thank you man of god and greetings to our viewers uh, authority of scripture, one way to conceptualize the authority of scriptures uh, is to come to terms with state systems such as the traffic lights, road signs, police officers. Yep. Now, these state systems 
possess authority that demand our obedience our recognition our recognition so citizens are simply called upon to recognize the authority in the traffic light authority of the police officers in the uh, in the community right. or on the roads citizens are not called upon to have the choice to either obey them or not to obey, or not to obey them so if you are driving and you made a traffic light mm -hmm. the sign that the traffic light gives you if it gives you red whether there's a policeman standing there or not because of the inherent authority That's in right. the traffic light you need to obey by stopping so that is how one can uh, have an idea form an idea about the authority of scriptures scripture herself or itself has an inherent authority and believers are just expected to recognize the authority we don't give authority to scriptures scriptures is already authoritative that is why we also say that scripture uh, is inspired it is not the people who did compilation of uh, scriptures, Bible, uh, those who did what we call mm. canonization, That's putting right. the various books of the Bible together to form one Bible that we have. They were not the people who made the Bible authoritative, yeah. but they recognized the inspired books. The books that have formed or have become part of our Bible that contained inspiration that were the that that were the the word of god they were able to recognize it why because those people were already believers and they knew the word of god just that they were now compiling the various small 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 books that contained the, the word of god so during that time during the canonization there were spurious books spurious books with religious uh features you know religious characteristics that were presented to the people but they were looking for inspired books that is authoritative books of the word of god and they just recognize them so when a book is presented to them they will say oh this is not inspired this is inspired this is not inspired the book of enoch is not inspired it's not authoritative uh, the gospel of thomas is not uh, judith is not baruch is not first and second maccabees they are not but root is malachi is matthew is acts of the apostles is because they were able to recognize the authority that was already in these books and that is how we can have an idea about the authority of scriptures beautiful so authority is is something that is already in the scripture yes and we recognize it that's right we don't we don't give the scripture authority. authority at all now this is so important because for sometimes you know the average believer uh they think because maybe the pastor is, is shouting mm. you know that is what probably makes the word authoritative authoritative <laughs> you know and uh maybe because uh maybe a miracle happened mm. and that's what makes the word uh authoritative mm. or even maybe because signs mm. came later on to say oh maybe we found uh we found noah's ark mm. <laughs> mm. i mean these are all secondary sources but yeah. Probably, suddenly, so, oh, then, you know, science is the backbone of scripture. You know, it is, uh, or maybe some philosophical argument. Mm. 